Hello lads and welcome to episode number 6 of the Sunderland career mode. Obviously, uh, as you can see there, rating 59. Uh, it's the usual really, the past couple of episodes we've been noticing how important these board expectations are. Uh, I have set a youth scout off at the end of the last episode, if you didn't say that, make sure to uh, just you know go on my channel, it'll be the last upload. Um, I would have thought, unless there's something urgent I need to say or whatever. But... Yeah, I'm, um, I'm happy about you know the way we've performed recently. Um, just a bit of consistency is what we need. And against Hull, hopefully we can start a good bit of form. As you can see there, though, they have got one of the top scorers. With six goals, it's Klukas. He's going to be one of the key danger men we've got to look out for. And this is the formation I'm planning to use of this 4-3-3, one we've used throughout the uh, career mode so far. It's Manoni and Cole. He's on a thin line, though. The last couple of uh, games, he's made crucial mistakes, which have led to opposition's goals which has dropped us three points i'd say um two against arsenal well no one against arsenal and two against bournemouth um he made two crucial mistakes so he's on a thin line he isn't thumbnail but anyone can be dropped in this career mode and pickford's already ahead of him in rating uh back four is normal uh Yanazai is actually replacing rodwell and that's basically as far as the changes go well because to take it it's gonna be right there and goes as far as Maguire. I'm really not doing well with those types of free kicks. And great, McCartney's on the counter attack. And we're lucky there. We are lucky. Because that could have easily been a red card. If not, because they played the advantage first. Well, it is. All right, so he decided to play the advantage. And then, for some reason, he's gone and changed it to a red card. All right. He looked like he was the last man, that's why, but I... And Coney's been sent off. That's not good at all. We've got... We need to change our formation round as soon as possible. And that's not what I was planning to do this early in the game. Great pass to try and find Barini. It was still a good pass, I'm not going to take anything away from it, but he was tightly marked. And Villa to Defoe. Defoe tries to put through Wabi Kazri and it was just had enough... Just had too much power on it. Gilabodji now to Kazri. Kazri to Fabio Barini. Fabio Barini shoots across goal and it's straight in the hand. Mankia with the tackle. It's a whole city throw in. Zim to Umbakani. It's 1 0 Hull. Not the start we wanted at all, but with the red card early on in the game. Hull could have had any chance and scored from it. Umbakani unmarked. And straight away, this red card's coming to haunt us. Right, lads, no changes at the break, but we have put Kershoff into centre mid, and we're playing with two midfielders. Bit of a uh, risky, you could say, but I'm actually going to go for this. Um, you know, I still want my attackers in the team because um, we haven't been making enough chances and we need to make chances to get in the game. Kazri, Kazri back to Barini. Here we go. We've got men in the box already this half. He's going to go into the foe. He takes one touch and it's a heavy one. Straight into the keeper's hands. Oh, that just reached Kazri. We could have had a chance there. Instead, it's Hull City that break and Umbakani, for some reason, has got bagged loads of pace. He's took the shot and Manoni's had to make the save. The foe, the foe to Kazri. Kazri's been our main outlet this uh, game. And here he is again. Wabi Kazri shoots across goal. There we are. Here we are. Don't know what I'm saying, but Wabi Kazri scores. Scores a crucial goal in this game against Hull where there was no life in it whatsoever. I knew he had quite a bit of shooting, Wabi Kazri. And there you go. Demonstrated there across the keeper. He had no chance. Wabi Kazri with a bit of life. He brings a bit of life into this game. And we've got a chance here against Hull, suddenly. Great football here. Defoe shouldn't be that far back, though. I thought I really don't get about Defoe. Barini whips the ball in. And Maguire gets on the end of it. Defoe, he nicks it. He's taking a finesse shot and he scores. The game completely turned around. And suddenly, 2-1 through Jermaine Defoe. Could he have found his form? Please, let's hope so. He went near post with a finesse shot. It was a bit of calamitous defended by Hull. And 10-man Sunderland lead at the Stadium of Light against Hull City. We haven't got a good record really against Hull. 
Um, and the keeper really should have done better with the save, but I'm not bothered. It's Jermaine Defoe, he always finds a way to score. And demonstrated there, finally, hopefully, he's found his form. And let's keep on to this lead. Now it's a matter of keeping, it's smash and grab, basically. We've got to keep our composure at the back. And then when the chances come, try and get more. With another attack here. He played across the floor. And that could have gone anywhere. <laughs> Thankfully, it misses both Van Arnold and Umbacani. Right, lads, a bit of change of formation. Five at the back for the last five minutes. Hopefully, we'll hold on. Rodwell's playing at centre half. It'll be interesting to see how he does there. Wabi Kazri, here he, here he is. What's he going to do? He's going to shoot from long range. And he just puts that wide. Is that the end of the game? I think it is. They're all celebrating now. <laughs> and a very eventful day here at the Stadium of Light. And uh, against Hull. <laughs> against Hull, it's a very dramatic game. Down to 10 men from the off. And when Hull City took the lead, you always knew it was going to be hard to come back. And somehow we managed to do so through Wabi Kazmi and Jermaine Defoe. Two huge away games coming up. I just want to draw your attention to the calendar here. Two massive games in four days. Liverpool and Manchester United. One in the cup, one in the league. I'm going to make my priority the league. Because we've got no um, objectives in the EFL Cup against Man United. So I'm going to be playing a full strength team against uh, Liverpool. Who have we got after Man United? Leicester, right. And then I'll play a probably semi full strength side out against Man United and we'll see what happens there. Right, here's the side we've got to face. Um, Liverpool, it's the same lineup we had against Hull, uh, same formation as well. Yanazai is keeping his place because I thought he did really well. His determination was great on the ball. And uh, I want to play him more often if he's going to keep showing performances like that. Jack Roddell's going to have to fight for his place as the Nia is the one who starts at centre back. Well, Clavin playing at centre back was done an awful good job there to uh, find Mane from that pass and immediately um, Liverpool they want to try and get the first goal and they've got the first shot within three minutes here Hull are different from Liverpool <laughs> um, immediately we found that out immediately trying to put pressure on the ball and trying to score a goal here great tackle by Mankiel finds Kershaw Kershaw tries to send Kazri Kazri this time sends Mankio. Mankio through to Defoe, who's got a chance on goal. He's going to launch it. And it goes into Carriers. I don't think Defoe would have had the pace to beat the centre backs. He did beat the centre backs, but they looked like they were catching up to him rather quickly. I went with a long shot of Defoe, and it was on target. We've won ourselves a corner. Wabi Kazri. Kian Veer with a header. Ooh, and Moreno could have put that over his own keeper if he wasn't careful. Gets it past Yanazai. And gets it past everyone. Firmino with a header hits the post. That was very, very close to going in there. We're lucky. They don't shoot. They leave it to Alberto Moreno. Who had a pop there. He wasn't that far off from the camera angle I saw. This one shows something different. Oh, we're still pretty close. Makio a denier. Deny it to Wabi Kazri. Kazri plays a nice ball to Yanazai. That was a great ball to Yanazai and he's still got it. Yanazai cuts inside, tries to send Defoe. And he's just too much for him. Deny with a nice ball inside of Umbia. It's Kershoff. Kershoff to Defoe. Defoe back to Kershoff. Kershoff to Barini. Barini back to Kershoff. The heart of this attack here is Jan Kershoff. He's laid it back to Barini against his old club. And he's asked to force a save there from Karius. Ojo. Deny to Umbia. Umbia to Firmino. And Firmino tries a back heel this time. It's a last ditch tackle. It looks like this is going to be the end of the half it is. But I think the chances themselves have been pretty even. I say that and I'm completely correct. You've seen that? Like, four shots, one on target. 52% uh, possession from us, which is good away from home. And Villa tried to play it back. Here it is. Liverpool dominance in the second half. And it's Firmino who finds himself in too much space. Again tries to back heel it in the box. And uh, it goes up for goal kick. Gilaboggi needs to tackle, it's Coutinho, with a, he gets his shot away somehow, I thought we were able to clear that, but another chance for Liverpool there. Zambia finds Kazri, got a chance, got a good chance as well, it's Wabi Kazri, as he finds Jermaine Defoe, could he be in again, he is, and he scores once again, Jermaine Defoe scores at Anfield, he's in form alright, that's 3-3 three three for Jermaine Defoe. In his last three games, get in. 
one in each and one and each one perhaps making an incredible impact here in terms of the points placed perfectly and once he was played through you know he was going to score what a strike there from Jermaine Defoe so happy there gets in when you've got someone on it like him on the pitch you've got to trust him and we're losing trust for quite a while and I think we've just regained it that's his fourth goal of the season Saudi Manu is playing pretty deep at the moment and it's a miss um, communication from Liverpool as Saudi Mane and uh, looks like one of the defenders has clashed it's Mvia with a long shot and it's shot right at Karius and we've got ourselves a corner out nothing here Kazuita Denaya Denaya to Manone just really want to slow down this game Manone launches it high to Barini was he offside? he wasn't offside we've got an attack here Mvia to Barini Barini steals it off him Barini can he go all the way? I'm going to go all the way with Barini. Can he shoot? He shoots and it's another save from Carrie's had a good game. I wanted to go all the way with Barini there just so he could score against his former club Liverpool. And that was a tremendous save from Carrie's. We've got another corner. Yanazai is going to... Okay, that was very poor. But have we won this game? We have. The players are celebrating. And why not a win at Anfield for the first time in what feels like absolutely ages. I can't remember the last time we won at Anfield, but we have now. Jermaine Defoe with a winning goal. He's found form at just the right time when my uh, managerial rating was going awfully low. At least one of our objectives seems on point. We have to sort the rest out in you know other time, but let's celebrate this while it lasts. Jermaine Defoe gets the winner here. Liverpool nil, Sunderland one. Just about every player rotated for this EFL Cup tie away to Manchester United. Um, we are playing some of the youngsters, McNair and Dong feature um, as well as Denier, who's um, currently recovered from his suspension, so he's going to play the next league game. Um, Jordan Ayew is also playing. We've got a few senior players as well. O'Shea, Peanut, name a few, and Pickford starting in goal. Man United haven't had the best start to the league in real life and in this game I think they're sitting around mid table actually in the game um, so it'll be interesting to see how they play and if we can exploit them Didier and Dong to find Paddy McNair Paddy McNair skips past one he's going to wait for the run he's found it Leonardo Rougeau is making it oh it's great football it's Steven Pienaar who tries to go near post and Eric Bailly with a last ditch tackle they haven't been playing much recently um for the first team, Joa finds McNair, McNair to Ndong, Ndong one touch, one shot, and he finishes it with ease. And we pass it around Man United like they're not even here, and our good run of form has continued. And this time it's Didier Ndong, the midfielder, to score the goal. And he was it really close to the keeper, but he just tucked it past him like he wasn't even there. It was Sergio Romero who got it past. Ah, it's a delight for Sunderland. What a run of form we're having here. Man United might have put their best uh, start 11 out, but neither have we. And what a run of form we're finding ourselves in. And, uh, they're making too much space here. Rashford is not tackled. It's Matter. He needs to play a simple square ball to Rashford. Instead, Pickford makes an incredible double save. And that was just too easy for Man United. How they didn't, why they didn't square that, I will never know. It's Matter again though when he puts Man United level. We just couldn't clear it and that was our problem. 1-0 up and they've leveled at Man United. It was never going to be easy of course. It's Juan Matter with a first time finish past Pickford. No way could he save that. Juan Matter wearing the captain's armband. I would have never thought that under Mourinho. But he's delighted with that here. He's just celebrating in front of us. Get out of the way mate. I'll, I'll get the F8 to find you. Ah, Juan Mata, hate ya. Luke Shaw to find Young. Young to Shaw. Shaw to Taylor. And Taylor really needs to watch out where he's heading that. He has to force an incredible save from Jordan Pickford. Uh, it goes out for a corner. Right, Stephen Pienaar is uh, he's not going away with his injury. I'd rather him, you know, safe. So we put Watmore on at half time. He'll add a bit of pace to be sure. And uh, he'll be a bit more ruthless instead of uh, Pienaar's experience in passing. 
Marcus Rashford to Mata Mata back to Rashford Rashford gives it to Young Young with a great turn there and we could be in trouble Ashley Young rips Sunderland apart and it goes wide of the far post thankfully for us that was great play by Ashley Young don't know what more to Charlie Taylor Charlie Taylor sends through Duncan Watmore here we go here's an attack it's Duncan Watmore who tries to start it and it's Daly Blind who gets the foot in we've got a chance here from the corner we've got some big men in the box as well Denier and Watmore to name a few here we go it's McTarian who gets the last touch on that and Dejoa who gets the head certainly not what I want to see it's Rashford and Martial and a great stop by Pickford, a solid hand to Martial's drill shot. Denier got the tackle in, he misjudged it and that was a hell of a save from Jordan Pickford. And that's the last kick of full time, we're heading to extra time here. To try and get this win, we put Catamol on for McNair, he's on a yellow and he's exhausted. Fortunately he couldn't do much against his old club, I think he got the assist though if I'm not mistaken. I have to look at that back, but we've got a Soro coming on as well to add a bit of pace. Azoa just wasn't beating them men, and you know, when you get tired in the game, you want to bring on pace. Azoa and Watmore are certainly going to be two that Man United have got to keep an eye on. So matter, matter to Mkhitaryan. Rodwell, and it's a very dodgy pass in there from uh, Jack Rodwell. I was expecting him to pass straight to Pickford. Thankfully, he gathers that one. It's Luke Shaw with a great ball over to Martial into Rashford and he put it in a late late goal for Marcus Rashford could see us out the cup here it's just squared across and Pickford should have saved that and he just I think he's wrong footed there by Rashford he got a foot to it but that wasn't enough to stop him from scoring it was a lucky goal but they've got it to Jordan Ayew. Jordan Ayew to Catamol. Catamol to Larson. Larson to Asoro. Asoro gives it to Ayew. Ayew back to Asoro who shoots and he scored it. Get in. It's two, two uh, laps of concentration from each side. And it's Asoro, the youngster for Sunderland, the striker, who scores for us this time. And this was literally Bailly, who has been great all game, not tracking the run of Asoro. He hits it first time, it seems, past Romero. And Asoro gets his first goal for Sunderland. Right, sorry I've left you with about like three of the penalties left. McCarrion puts it in the middle. I mightn't have had all the audio or the video for the uh, actual penalties, which is a bit of a bummer. Joel Asoro's got to score, it seems. And Romero saves and it's Man United who get through. Unlucky really, we deserved at least, I think we deserve to get through. Man United scraped through it seems and we've got to repay them next, next time. Sorry I didn't get all the uh, video for the penalties. Romero just seemed to guess the way each time. You know how it is in FIFA but... It was a good run in the FL Cup. It wasn't our priority, and we've, we've, you know, we've played our weak side against Man United and managed to get a penalty shootout. So if that's how it is, fair enough. Right, lads, that's it. Um, unfortunately, uh, Man United managed to scrape the way past through a penalty shootout, but we have got some good news. We are in fifth position. We have played uh, more games than the likes of Stoke and that, but fifth position, really. That is, um, I didn't even notice how well we were doing. This episode has really helped us up a lot in terms of our league table position. Somehow we're only 61 rated, which I find hard to believe. We will sort our objectives out when it comes to January. But that's it. Um, we're, it just reached December now. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like on it. Um, you know, Comment your opinions below. What do you think we should do? Comment with the January transfer window. And uh, subscribe if you have enjoyed. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you later, lads.